Hello, love angels. It's your girl, she make work for God's glory. Welcome, welcome back to Faith Filled Friday. I know it's Saturday. My apologies. Guys, if you knew, I mean, we're all busy, so you guys understand, but it, you know, when it's just one of those weeks where it's like nonstop, back to back to back. I have to say, today is, so I'm off, you know, two days. My off days are Friday and Saturday. So my Friday was just beyond busy. And I had something to do in the morning. Uh, well, I actually met with my um, beach body, not my beach body, my For God's Glory Health and Wellness group. If you want to be a part of that, you know, let me know in the description below. But um, they came over and we had, you know, a nice fellowship and I was supposed to go out afterwards with someone, but they canceled, which allowed me to stay home and have a day in the house all day, which is what I really, really wanted. So God is good. Um, and of course, I wanted to see that individual as well, but it just worked out where I got to just stay in. So I have some time to finally send you guys the message that I wanted you to receive for Faith Filled Friday. So today's message is entitled Realization. Life as I knew it had ended and I had a choice to make. Either I could let my circumstances dictate my joy and happiness going forward, or I could intentionally choose to be positive and refuse to sink under the weight of negativity. That may have been the most important decision I've ever faced. After 26 years of marriage, my husband and I separated. The heartache and devastation were overwhelming and I spent the first few months after he left in a puddle of tears and negative thoughts every day. My vision of what the future was supposed to look like was wiped away in an instant and my losses seemed to keep piling up. My fears about the uncertain future seemed innumerable and I was consumed with worry for how my children and how their parents' separation might affect their hearts. With each passing day, I felt the top, the, the top, I can't, why can I say this word? Tox. I felt hopelessness. <laughs> I can't speak today. Fear, pessimism seeping deeper and deeper into my heart. I felt as if I was stuck in a whirlpool, slowly being pulled under by the weight of my thoughts, yet desperately longing to be free and happy again. A tsunami had slammed into my reality, and as hard as I tried, I couldn't stop sinking into sadness, and at times even felt I was struggling with depression. But the, the day finally came, several months later, when my emotional and mental exhaustion seemed overwhelming, and I realized I was fed up with feeling sad and hopeless. I was tired of assuming the future couldn't be bright simply because the present was difficult. I knew that I needed to be a role model for my children and that my attitude would permeate theirs, either positively or negatively. That makes me think of, you know, someone's always watching, you know, like, um, just in how you carry yourself. Now, I talk about this a lot, and I'm sorry I stopped the story, how we shouldn't care what others think and we should care about what God thinks. But while we walk in God's image, we do have a certain standard to uphold and we should be walking in the way God would walk you know so you never know who you're influencing you know um there could be people looking up to you that you, you're not even aware of so you know just try to make sure you're walking in love and bearing good fruits I would say I also knew that I needed to put my hope in God trusting that not only was he able to heal broken hearts and broken relationships but also that no matter what I could have peace and joy if I intentionally invited him to help me with my thoughts. I realized I didn't want to spend my life being bitter and negative and stuck in pessimism whether because of the current situation, hard circumstances that lay ahead, or simply the small struggles and frustrations of everyday life. I certainly did not want to be the kind of person who always sees the glass half empty instead of half full and inadvertently overlooks her blessings because of the negative or bitter blinders of her on her heart, blinders on her heart. I had never been that type of person before. And in a moment with the one who holds all hope, I became determined I was never going to be. My heart lightened when I surrendered my negativity and committed to trusting God through this storm. I realized optimism and positive thinking were still within my reach because I had the power within me through Christ to choose to be positive despite my circumstances. This is so true. Like our thoughts are so powerful and what we speak into existence is what tends to happen. So just speak positivity into your life. Um, I merely had to make an intentional effort to do so. And when I did, my whole perspective and outlook completely changed. My circumstances stayed the same, but over time, my thoughts in my heart did not. Yes. This just gave me some additional hope. Oh, what is this? Okay. Gotta find a new charger for my iPad. Oh. 
All right, so I pray that you guys were blessed by that message as I was. And I'll leave you with a few scriptures. We'll see if it's a few or if it's one. Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I need sleep, y'all. Just so you know, I'm going off of just a few hours from the past few days. It's been beyond busy. And obviously, I can't speak. I'll start this over again. Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. And that's all. And uh, this series is actually entitled Unsinkable Faith. It's a four-day reading plan, so it's a... God Fills Strategies to Transform the Way You Think, Feel, and Live by Tracy Miles. So I will be finishing um, these up the next few uh, videos. So stay tuned. And I pray that you all have an amazing, amazing day. And I'll see you all next summer for God's glory. God bless.